You are watching a short video called Die Casting Defects from the Eastern Alloys video series. In this video, we will discuss the process that Eastern Alloys uses when analyzing defects for our die casting customers. I will also discuss the importance of correctly diagnosing defects, review a few common die casting defects with examples, and describe some of the tools I use during this process. Die casting defects can be challenging. First, it is often difficult to correctly diagnose a defect, especially when the casting is coated or plated. There are different forms of porosity and different kinds of surface defects. The root cause of these defects and solutions can be completely different. Even if a defect is correctly diagnosed, there could even be several potential root causes to fix the issue. Eastern Alloys has over 50 years of experience helping our customers diagnose, find the root cause, and offer solutions to die casting defects. Today we use metallographic techniques to section and examine the defects at higher magnification to help correctly diagnose those defects. We are experts at using available die casting tools such as PQ squared, flow analysis, shot monitoring, and can even assist you in runner and gating design, all of which are important in diagnosing die casting defects. We have developed a die casting defect guide titled Classification of Zinc Die Casting Defects, which is available to download online. We use this guide internally when diagnosing defects and it is also available for our customers to download. Each category of defect is discussed in depth with a drawing of the defect, a description of its appearance, and possible solutions to eliminate the defect. Three examples of diagnosing defects follow using the guide as a reference. In this example, a plated zinc die cast door lever had what appeared to be a surface defect. Although the defect looked like a cold shut, the casting was plated, so there was still some questions whether the defect was occurring on the zinc substrate or related to the plating process. The casting was sectioned, mounted in plastic, and polished to a smooth surface. Microscopic examination showed the defect to clearly be in the zinc substrate and was clearly a surface cold shut. The cause of the defect was found to be related to a combination of low dye temperature and flow. In this example, the zinc dye casting on the right was shown to have surface porosity. There are many types of porosity. Some porosity forms due to air or gas, whereas other forms of porosity are related to how the alloy shrinks during solidification, either due to the casting process or component design. After sectioning the casting, it was found to have a large amount of spherical oxidized porosity. The guide classifies this type of defect as gas porosity. Using a tool called PQ squared and analyzing a shot trace, it was found that these parts were cast with a very low gate velocity, which was the root cause of this defect. The defect found in this powder coated zinc die casting was clearly a blister. Upon sectioning the casting, it was confirmed that the blister was due to trapped air or gas within the zinc substrate of the casting. The cause of the porosity was also related to a combination of low gate velocity and venting. Sometimes blisters are a little more difficult to diagnose, and the root cause is not always related to the quality of the die casting. In this case, blister-like defects were occurring on the plated surface. After sectioning the casting, it was clear that the blister was occurring between the zinc substrate and the plated layer. For this defect, guidance from a booklet entitled Plating of Zinc Die Castings, Identification, Cause, and Avoidance of Defects, helped diagnose this defect as either blisters, plating defects, or pits, inadequate cleaning. Shown here is a section discussing blisters due to plating defects. It says that the cause could be bad adhesion between the zinc and copper layer, which can arise from issues from the plating process such as long plating intervals or contaminated solutions. Potential remedies are also listed. The combination of using metallographic techniques to get a more accurate look at the defect and our knowledge of die casting defects and the die casting process helps us correctly and quickly diagnose these issues, helping our customers improve yield and lower costs. We hope that this video gives you a small glimpse into the importance of the service Eastern Alloys offers of defect analysis. If you are a die caster, or if you purchase die castings and are having difficulties correctly identifying die casting defects and determining the correct root cause of those defects, please give us a call. The service is free to our die casting customers. We even offer a more in-depth die casting defect training to help our customers eliminate die casting defects for themselves.